the hell is that? Oh no, he's way more into it now. What, what is this all about? It, it's Spinelli, singing really, really badly. Yeah, that much I can hear. It's only temporary. I mean, that's what I keep telling myself. It better be temporary. It's awful. I will be true. Ovations? Encore? See, you're dripping all over the floor. There's a lady present. Why don't you go back upstairs and get some clothes on? Jason, I'm, I'm shocked. Did you just call me a lady? Well, yeah, the jackal is not usually this immodest. Oh, no, Spinelli, I like how you look in a towel. It makes me want to jump your bones. Oh, oh did, did Stone Cold um, hear me practicing my musical tribute to Fair Maximus? Yeah, I happened to hear you. So that, that wasn't practicing. Oh, did, 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 it's, uh, I discovered that the acoustics in the shower, they mimic the sound one would hear on a stage, but granted, like in a small auditorium, but I mean, it is transporting. Why don't you transport yourself upstairs and get dressed? I think you're probably freaking Jason okay, out. Okay, very well, but, um, will, uh, your loveliness be here when I get back? I'd like to see the person who could drag me away! <sighs> you need to stop this now. <laughs> la, 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 la. Oh. That's really good, Spinelli. Um, we need to talk. Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. What? Well, uh, on the floor. It, it, it's, a, it's a puddle, undoubtedly left by the jackal when he was fresh from his shower, uh, which I tell you was invigorating. The pulse of hot water on sore muscles belting out a good aria. Uh, but I, I digress. Now you may cross. What are you doing? <laughs> uh, I'm acting in the high romantic tradition of the great Sir Walter Raleigh. Is he, in times long past, it was agreed among men of sensitivity that no woman should ever have to sully her feet. They should always walk on pristine surfaces. That's so silly, Spinelli, because I'm, I'm still going to walk on the puddle. There's just going to be a wet jacket on top we of it. We must not be bound by the literal when it comes to romance. Cross. Happy? Ah, my happy meter is dancing in the red. <laughs> oh, good, maybe we could just flood the room and then you could spread out all the jackets that you own and I'll walk back and forth until I pass out. Maximista, that may be the most romantic thing you've ever said to me. Oh, I could think of lots of other things for us to do here. I mean, we don't have to go to Jake's. You could serenade me all by ourselves till your heart's content. Uh, no, I won't hear of it. I, I want the world to know of my devotion. Well, I doubt the Grand Opera is going to be on the list at Jake's karaoke night. No, not to worry. The arias are just a warm-up to strengthen my vocal cords, increase my range. The song I'll be singing to you at Jake's will be a love ballad, both touching and contemporary. Yeah, I can't let you do this. <laughs> There's no reason for you to make a public spectacle out of declaring your love. Certainly not on my account. I mean, I'd, I'd rather you prove it to me in other ways. You know, we could start with this. Every time our lips meet, it is, it is newly shocking to me about my incredible turn of luck that, that a vision and unattainable dream like you could, through some sort of miracle, see me as worthy of uh, affection and attention. You don't give yourself enough credit. You're a much better person than I am. See, that's, there's an example of it right there. I, I have to prove myself worthy of such devotion in a profound way, so enter the code of chivalry. Spinelli, I don't need some crusty old code to tell me that you love me. I, I know that. You, you show me every day. But there's other ways more immediate ways for you to prove your love. Like, sex. I mean, humans discovered it probably after they kicked chivalry to the curb because it's so much more fun. No, not necessarily. I mean, it only as you said, more immediate. But I, And I'm not, I'm, I'm not denying the awesomeness of carnal knowledge and gratification. It is a... It's a truly sublime way <laughs> of expressing love. But the, chivalrous deeds take thought and effort, which is just as essential to honoring a relationship like ours. You really want to do this, don't you? Yes, I do. I really do. 
Guess I'm gonna be serenaded at Jake's. But Spinelli, promise me one thing. You're going to get lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of practice. I will make you proud. I know you will. I have to go. Parting is such sweet sorrow. <laughs> Au revoir. See ya. Bye. Patrick, I need you to talk to Coleman. Because he's one of your friends. I mean, he was best man at one of your weddings. You need to tell him that this karaoke night at Jake's is a really bad idea. Because Spinelli is determined to sing, and I love him, but you've never heard anything so awful. And if Spinelli sings, he's going to humiliate himself, which will make him feel less manly. And then our relationship is right back to where it started, and I'm trying to advance the program here. <laughs>